everyone and welcome back to our Berserk reading. Uh, we are continuing with the deluxe edition of Berserk. Last time was chapter two of the Guardians of Desire. Uh, so essentially chapter four, Guardians of Desire, chapter two. Uh, we are now uh, going to be getting into uh, chapter five, the Guardians of Desire, chapter three. Uh, so very, very excited to, to get into that. Now there's been some comments that have mentioned sort of like the consistency between, um, episodes and chapters and how that's been like translated and everything like that. Uh, for the sake of the book that I am reading and like translation and all of that, I will just go with what is in front of me to not get confused. Uh, so it's essentially chapters and then more chapters. So <laughs> the Guardians of Desire, uh, chapter three is what we're getting into today. Uh, so where we left off last time uh, was the execution of Vargas, uh, the battle between Guts and Lord Zondark, um, uh, Puck trying to be a hero and save Vargas uh, only to fail, and Guts walking off after a fit of rage uh, once again. Uh, so we're going to start with first page of this chapter, lovely opening castle shot and Guts walking up a staircase, and then our double spread for the Guardians of Desire, chapter three. Okay, we have our, we have our gross gang, got our gross, gross gang walking down with Puck being captured in a cage. Old fella, so Puck is more sad about the loss of Vargas than um, his own capture right now. I couldn't do a thing to save you. Not a, not a single thing. What's gonna happen to me now? <laughs> Thinking about being turned into food. We got rest in peace, Puck, lying on top of uh, lying on top of that meal. Door gets unlocked as the door opens, and it is it is this uh, this girl that we saw uh, last chapter. Father, okay. Yeah. <laughs> How did that? Make that! How did that happen? Yeah, Puck and me share the same reaction. Still awake, Teresa? Eh? I love uh, how much Puck is um, the sort of the, the audience character. It's so good because our reactions are like, oh, excuse me? Excuse me, what? Uh, for father? <laughs> What is it, father? Why are you coming to see me so late? Hmm? I just have a little something for you. Oh, it's... an elf. Is it real? <laughs> well, do you like it? Yes. Yes, I like it very much, daddy. I like the elf. Now get out of my room. Thank you, father. Are you lonely here, Teresa? Be patient, my dear. I couldn't possibly let you out into the impure world, overrun by filthy heretics. Teresa. You're the only... Oh. Wow, okay. Interesting. Goes to reach out and she, like, pulls back in, like, fear, which is totally understandable. Because this guy's a bit of a monster. <laughs> ah! You still won't let me touch you. Just kind of quiet. So be it. It's getting late. Good night. Father? Nothing. Forget it. 
Something that I'm going to do as well, by the way, is because I'm just obviously figuring this out as I go along, as this is my first time doing like a live reading uh, type deal, is, um, you know, putting in those like those sound effects where necessary, having the ambience where it fits, um, not too much of it. Um, and then also I'm trying to get used to maybe like sound effects or voices that like, or when people like gasp or like a silent sort of thing um how to how to word that so there's gonna be like i'm gonna try and focus more on sort of like reading the words only um but being being quiet during like like these moments where like both Teresa and puck are both not saying anything um because i want to want to be able to read along and and focus and absorb the information as well as reading it out loud um with you guys. Excellency. Go away. What? Leave me be! He just wants to be loved, but he's a fat, ugly demon slug man. Teresa. Alas. Ha. Ha ha. What the fuck? This guy is insane. He has come. Oh wow. This is so it oh it starts almost immediately. So Guts is just like walking straight up here. Uh old mate here is just like it's it's time. It is like it's time, let's go. He has come. The black swordsman has come. You're a stubborn bastard, you know that? Oh, it's Zondark. Ah, uh, so he can see, uh, he can, he can see, uh, through Zondark, essentially, which makes sense. I've been waiting for you, Black Swordsman. Dude. <laughs> He's got, why has he got so many eyes coming out of one place? You're much prettier than last time I saw you. Fucking hell. So we've got, like, the... Demon Slug coming out. We got three eyes in the middle of that, and then we got the other eye that he had over there as well. Meanwhile, he's got his goddamn blade tentacle arms just going like crazy. That looks so good. No more games. This time there's nowhere to run. Gah! Uh, I've been waiting to see when Guts would pull this out again. Pulls out the the arm crossbow. Shoots the arrows out. In quick succession. Very quick succession. All into the, the chest of Zondark. Pushing him backwards. What? What? Guts reloads. Lo uh, shoots even more. One sitting right in the mouth of Zondark. Ah, yeah! <laughs> Holy shit. Guts dodges, reloads, shoots even more. Just pummeling this dude with arrows. Running forward up the stairs, grabbing the sword, and just doing a swing. Right on through, slicing in one of Guts's favorite moves, <laughs> with a cold, emotionless stare. Just the power of that swing slicing right through Zondark. Zondark falls down the staircase. Guts has an empty stare and walks away. But then. Behind him, the arm comes back up, quite similar to <laughs> when Gandalf knocks down the Balrog and it's like, oh, wait a minute, I'm just going to whip you on the leg and pull you down with me. He tries. <laughs> it's futile. No matter how much you chop me up, no matter how much you hack up this possessed body, I'll just keep on regenerating myself. Over and over again. I missed a, I missed a line. I, I misread this. Hmm. 
no matter how much you hack up this possessed body, unless you cut off my head. Which is so funny, because it's just like, ha ha ha, I'm invincible, except for my weakness! Ha ha ha! Oh no! You've exploited my weakness! How could you? <laughs> Guts then chops off the head immediately. <laughs> yes. <laughs> On the second page. That's the, like his, his eyes as he's just you know, like sliced across the face. God damn. Thanks for the tip. Oh, it's like, come on, man. You literally, you told him. You deserved that. Oh. <gasps> oh, it was a fucking trick! Oh, that's good. That's good. So he starts to take over the sword. Oh, that's so fucking... That's incredible. Now I'll feed off your body! Fuck, dude. Oh, he's like, what? <laughs> and he's like, hey, do you know what this giant slab of iron could be used for? Just essentially a fly swatter. Let's just slam it against something. Yep. <laughs> Dude, this was good. This was good. Wrapping itself around the sword, only to be smashed against the wall. Guts again, just fucking nothing but nothing but getting the job done. Don't think it's over yet. I'll be waiting for you. Upstairs. Well, Guts has the the blood all over his face from that slice. Also, I want to point out that uh, reading manga now and reading it more regularly is when I read um, images of uh, comics that people have posted or I just like read uh, am reading images with words on it, I am now automatically reading from right to left. <laughs> I've already I've already switched over like my default like reading direction, which is very funny. Damn, lost too much blood. Ugh, I can't give up. Just wait and see. Ah, I'll skewer you. I'll skewer your damned head on my blade of steel. Which like echoes throughout. The castle grounds. Back into the uh, Teresa's bedroom with Puck the elf on display. At least Puck is safe. I feel like Teresa is kind of trustworthy. In a sense that she seems to not be in uh, very interested in her father. Seems to be a point of tension in their relationship. Puck nervously waving. Uh, I'm not very tasty. Uh, elves aren't very good for digestion, you know. Not to mention we're high in calories. I won't hurt you. You can come out. I know what it feels like to be locked up in a cage. You're just saying that so you can eat me alive when I come out. I understand why you don't trust me. I'm his daughter, after all. Father's a different person since that day. That day. That day mother died. Seven years ago. I was just a baby then, so I don't remember anything. But this is what father told me. In those days, there was a sect of heretics at large who opposed my father. One day they kidnapped mother and threatened to kill her if father didn't let them practice their pagan worship freely. Wow. Father, of course, couldn't allow that without permission from the king, so he refused their demands, and they carried out their threat. Mother. Mother was sacrificed alive as an offering to their evil god. Wow. That is a... that is such a good uh, panel right there, where it's just like... The blend of two scenes through hair. The mother's hair into the daughter's. Wow. That's so well done. I love that. Very creative. Father was a great ruler. He may have been harsh, 
but that was so he could defend his kingdom against neighboring enemies. He was trusted and loved by all, even as a father. Wow, and there's the family, there's the family photo. But, but father changed. Like a man possessed, he started hunting down heretics. Now it doesn't even make any difference anymore whether they're heretics or not. It's almost as if he enjoys hurting people. Teresa, I'm scared. Sometimes I feel almost as if he's not human anymore. About that. Um, about that. You might be onto something. Ugh. Strangely humid tonight. <laughs> On a night like this, we should just take off. Hey, don't joke like that. At this castle, that's not even funny. Huh? What's wrong? Hey. Over there. <laughs> Literally the worst thing to face on your on your quiet night of guard duty is uh, being stared down by the black swordsman. Who, who goes there? Oh, wow. Hang on. Jesus, without even a fucking... <laughs> guts, is, guts is quick. Without even a moment, just... Two knives. Into the eyes of the two guards. Down they go, immediately. Guts moves on. Walking up the spiral staircase in the tower. <laughs> he is then, uh, of course, naturally... Uh, met with much resistance. We knew you'd be coming, as we knew you were in league with Vargas. This is as far as you go. Surrender quietly, or I'll have you killed at once. Move. Huh. You're in my way! Move! Guts looking like Zondark at this point in time. Fool! You think you can take on 50 troops yourself? Archers! Fire at will! Fire! All of them loaded up, ready to go, shoot all at once. And Guts effort effortlessly, no emotion, just, I'm just gonna deflect all of these. Because my big iron slab not only is a sword, it's not only used to cook my meals, it's also a big ass shield. With his sword? And then in a moment, once again, charging with such ferocity. And in one swing, Jesus Christ, in one swing, we have a de uh, decapitation and an amputation. We've got half of a decapitation. We've got a, uh, like, severing the body in half, and then severing another body in half. He just takes out four guys with one swing. Look at that. Hate to be the guy that's still got his bottom teeth there, <laughs> but lost the rest of it. God. Oh, and another swing has more foes falling. What are you waiting for? Attack! We got the we got the spears going. As they all attack guts simultaneously. He ducks underneath. They all connect and guts takes out one, two, three, four again. Another four in this one swing. Someone in half and three decapitations. Swings again, removes part of someone's face where the eyeball comes right out. <laughs> Cuts someone, attempted cutting someone right down the middle, ends up stopping right at the stomach. As those pieces of bodies just fall to the ground. God, these action shots. <laughs> Come on! What are you doing? Jericho! Jericho! Dude, and we got another big boy. What happened to the last big boy though? Come on. 
Get him. You always bragged about being stronger than Zondark. Show us your strength now. Jericho charges on through, swing, swinging his like double. Um, what is that? What are they? What are they called? Can't remember what those things are called. It's like the spiky ball on the end of a chain. He swings around his spiky ball on the end of a chain times two because there aren't two of those. Uh, swinging them ferociously right at guts. Without even, without even flinching, without even thinking, Guts is just like, Hey, do you mind if I just cut right through your shield and right into your armor, destroying the shield, pushing him back, and then... <sighs> before, before Jericho can even recover, Guts is ready with the next swing. Jericho knows that this is his fate sealed with those eyes, desperately trying to shield himself with what's left of his shield, and it just goes, the sword goes right through him. And it goes right through the pillar too, in a glorious double spread. So, um, stronger than Zondark, right? Stronger than Zondark. Jesus. And, Half of his body falls flat onto the ground amongst the rubble that has collapsed. Uh, wait! Where do you think you're going, fools? I'm warning you! Come back! Ah! Everyone retreats, leaving him on his own. <sighs> Dude, what the fuck is going on with Guts right now? Like, his eyes are just empty. And we cut away, back to Puck and Teresa. I'm sorry. Huh? About what? I couldn't stop myself from crying. It's been so long since I've talked to anyone. No problem. I'll lend you my shoulder. <laughs> Do you have a name? The name's Puck. Tell me, Puck. You fly, don't you? Eh? What does it feel like to fly? Ah, uh, what's it like? Normal, I guess. The same as for birds or bugs? Well, I guess a bit easier than walking. I mean, just half of it is just up to the wind. Hmm. It's just an everyday thing for you elves, isn't it? Theresa, you haven't been in here all this time, have you? For seven years? Father doesn't let me leave this room. He thinks there are still heretics lurking about the city, even now. He won't let anyone from the city, or anyone even remotely connected to the city, near me. This is my world. Outside this window, my little piece of sky. Such sober eyes. Not the eyes of a child. Huh. What's going on? What is it? It's a burglar! An intruder in the inner compound! Guts! Teresa, I've gotta go! Huh? That burglar they're talking about. It's someone I know. You you can't go. It's too dangerous. I'll be alright. I'm pretty quick. But don't worry. Don't worry. Seen my shape of share of battles I have. No! I... I'm sorry. This puck is literally seemingly knocked back by the shockwaves of the voice. It's natural that you would worry about your friend. Well, he's not exactly my friend course. Read that in the wrong way. Again. Oops. Ah. Teresa. Go on then. I told you I knew what it felt like to be locked up in a cage, didn't I? That's because I am. Well. Okay. See ya. <laughs> Fuck. Knocking on the door. Wait a minute. Uh, what? What is it? Um, something I forgot to say. I'll be back to see you later. <laughs> that really, that really lit up. Uh, Teresa. Yeah, so Teresa is like the, the innocent in this story here. An unfortunate captive. And then I'll take you out of here. Huh? 
Alrighty then, see you soon. For so long now, I'd given up even dreaming about it. To actually leave this room? To go outside? For revenge on the heretics who robbed him of the woman he loved? Is that why the Count acquired demonic powers? He summoned the God Hand, and he himself became a demon? Guts just... Oof, we cut back to Guts and the old man. Oh, kicked right in the face. Bleeding from his nose. Look at that. Look at that pose. Look at this dude. The Black Swordsman. He enters the throne room. The royal chamber. Where he sits. Impressive that you made it this far. Well done, Black Swordsman. Come now and test me. Let's see just how far human power will go. Alright. Guts walks up. Sword. Just resting. Casually on his shoulder. As he approaches the throne. Oh wow. Very perceptive Guts shoves his sword right down into the staircase where it looks like there was, a, there was a demon underneath. A trap waiting for him. Stabs right into the mouth of it. Holy shit. And then, huh? Nicely counted. And then from behind, emerging from the rubble, even more. Holy shit. What? That came from him? Hang on. That came from him? Let me, let me have a look at this. How is he sitting? Okay, so he's just sitting normally. That came That came from him? Am I seeing that panel right? The way that it's sort of... Um, the way that this is angled makes it look like it's coming directly from under his, under his pants. I now grasp the extent of your skills. It seems that I too must take this fight a little more seriously. Whoops, I flew out all right, but I forgot to ask where the Count's quarters are. Well done, Puck. Just wait for the, the sword swinging and explosion sounds and demon roaring. You will, you'll get there. Oh yeah, <laughs> there's the explosion. Oh, what? <laughs> Guts. Yeah, I was just like, just, just wait. You will be alerted to the location. Oh god. <laughs> Puck being like, ah, what am I touching? Holy shit, he's huge. As he emerges. <laughs> Puck losing nerve. I'll crush you! Alright, now Guts is on the, now Guts is being pushed back. Look at that double spread. That's wild. Ugh. So we've got a face, we've got some weird tentacle shit, we've got like a full mouth as well going on. <laughs> Guts uh, goes for the swing. I feel like this is going to be similar to what we, he's, he's already faced off against, however. There's going to be some regeneration. Big time. <laughs> Now you understand. It's futile, no matter how many times you chop off my arms and legs. It grows bigger and bigger. Each time you cut them off, my body becomes stronger. A mere sword can't possibly destroy me. Uh, he has so many arms right now. Yeah. Wow. Causing, causing such a, such a ruckus and movement in the castle, it's making Teresa's room fall apart and crumble around her. She has to be forced to hide under cover. But the door is now open. The door is... She goes to step out. Slowly, goes to step out quickly looks behind her as more of the roof is caving down. 
Ah, she thinks about Puck. And with determination, opens the doors. Guts! Dodges out of the way. Dodging out of the way consistently. Where are you? What happened to that vigorous onslaught of yours? Did you finally realize that you have no chance of winning and decide to run away? What's going on? This can't be happening. <laughs> Where are you, black swordsman? This old man's not having a good day, is he? Oh, I see what's happening here. He's, he's using him. He's using him as bait with his uh, with his cape. That's clever. Good work, guts. Next page. Yeah, it is. Slugman goes. Let's go. Puck is like guts behind you. He goes full on into the attack, taking the bait. <laughs> to his surprise. It was our lovely old man, while Guts emerges, sword at the ready, no cape, charging with a full swing that just goes fucking like right across the face. Oh my god. And he takes off the end, like the, I guess, antenna. Just a surface wound. Damn. It looks like it might at least like temporarily blind him. Guts gets smacked straight away, right into the wall from his hand. Internally bleeding right away. And then smashed into another column. Beaten and thrown around once again. Guts. You rogue. You set a decoy and aimed for my head on the spare of the moment. Indeed, your quick wits show that you're a first-rate warrior. But in the end, that's just a human technique. It's irrational to think you can defeat me. I, who am beyond human. That brand on your neck. It's hard to believe that someone can survive with that brand carved into their flesh. Revenge, is that it? But of course, you'll never win. A mere mortal like yourself. You see, you can't even stand up after a single strike from me. It's not worth being constantly hounded by demons, chopped to pieces. There's no need for you to continue your war of pain and fear. That's right. It's a meaningless fight. You should put an end to it now. I will release you from your suffering. I will dispatch you, once and for all, back to where you belong. Your final resting place in hell. It was already preordained the moment the brand was carved into your neck. Divine providence cannot be thwarted by man's efforts. Damn. Guts. Looking not so happy about listening to this shit. It's a genuine, that's a genuine expression of like, of worry there. That's not going to last long though. We know our boy. You can die proudly now, knowing that at least you inflicted one blow upon me. Look out! Oh, Guts dodges. And then gets hit once again, smacked down onto the ground, face first. Ah, yeah. oh. oh, the tentacle wrapping around the leg. Getting swung around, smashed right into the wall. Damn, it has been a while since we've seen our boy Guts getting just absolutely smacked around. Instead of just like, screaming and being able to cut through a bunch of foes. It's very interesting to like see uh, that communication of like the power difference of just how skilled and competent and capable Guts is. But then he'll go up against something like this and even he at this very moment is getting uh, the floor wiped with his body. As he's being dangled upside down. Ah, still won't part with your sword I see. Yeah, just you wait. Smashed into another column. Puck watching in horror. His guts' his body is hanging from the rubble. Lying on his back. Blood pouring down from behind his head. <laughs> to be continued. 
And that was the end of Chapter 5, uh, Volume 2. Uh, so Volume 2 had those two um, chapters, Guardians of Desire 2 and 3. So we will be continuing on now with the with the next chapter uh, because we've gone through this one uh, quite smoothly. So we will be moving into the Guardians of Desire, Chapter Four. Uh, it opens up with the first page with our lovely demon right overhead of guts, almost knocked out cold at this point. So we had a cliffhanger of a fight. It's over. Ha! Huh. Guts! What's wrong with you? Come on! Is this how it's gonna end? It can't be over. You were always so high and mighty. Always putting other people down. Wake up, dummy! Wake! Oh. Damn, he's out. No matter how much you've tried to hone your skills, you've come to the limit of your pathetic human form. How fragile you humans what what did you say what the hell did you say look who's bragging baldy you you yourself you yourself used to be one of those fragile humans what's that it it's true teresa told me how you went crazy after your wife was killed seven years ago y you you acquired those powers so you could get revenge on the heretics didn't you but that wasn't the only reason if it was only about revenge, all you had to do was exercise your authority. The truth is, you became this thing to run away from the pain inside your own heart. To run away from yourself. You threw away your humanity. If anyone's a fragile human, it's you. Puck with the words of confidence there, like... That got to him a bit. Ha ha ha, what a surprise. I always thought that elves had the intellect of a bird or a squirrel. You're quite talkative, aren't you? <laughs> squirrel? <laughs> An amusing speech, and for that, I'll spare your life. Now get out of my sight and be gone. <laughs> Just like a human to try and cover up a sore spot like that. Oh. As I was saying, hides behind guts only for the... Only for the bailet to fall out, knock him in the head, to the demon's surprise, huh? Ouchie! The bailet! Ha ha ha! You saved me the trouble of looking for it myself! Oh god. He's going after it. What is he trying to do? He's trying to like... He's like struggling, he's like... Ugh. Fool! If you think I'm going to hand this over to the likes of you, you've got another thing coming. Dude, this bailer is like, this bailer's like, looking around being like, what the, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> what? This puck is flies the hell out of there. Insect. <laughs> nah. When it comes to making a getaway, I'm the one with the advantage. Fathead. That's right. If I'm flying, you can't possibly. <laughs> Bonk. <laughs> Just... Knocked by the tiniest piece of rock. Fool! Pathetic elf! If you wish to die that much, so be it! About to get crushed. Puck! Oh wow, Teresa. This is, this is good. This is how, this is how, uh... Our boy gets distracted. N no! Wow. Ah, no! Teresa! Ter Teresa! She screams and runs. Ooh. Teresa! Teresa! Holy shit, this dude does not look happy. Erupting in, in fear, targeting Puck. My... My body won't move. Uh, I'm gonna die. Three throwing daggers come out, stabbed right into his face. Puck standing dead still. You! This is all we needed. Guts just needed a little bit of time. Just needed a little bit of time to breathe. He's back. 
Guts is back. Guts! You're... You jerk! You big stupid jerk! You were just pretending to be dead, weren't you? I really thought you were a goner. What's the big idea, always acting so tough? Why don't you... Why don't you... Just go off and die! Staring at Puck quietly. Nothing to say. You're still alive. Brush Puck aside. Wait! Wait a sec, Guts! Don't be so rash! You'll die! This Guts has like a psychopathic smile. He... smiled? Not good enough. Just two or three broken, bro broken bones. <laughs> if you want to stop me, you're going to have to crush my skull or pierce my heart. Just like you, slug! No mercy! No mercy for you, worm! Guts! Slams into him. Knocked right into the fucking wall straight away. What's he thinking? It's just getting worse and worse. He's gonna die! Oh. Yeah, this is like... He knew that he would get knocked back here to where Teresa was hiding. Using her as a hostage. Human shield. Holy shit. Right in front of her. There we go. Guts has leverage now. To everyone's surprise except Guts. B Bastard! Teresa! Oh, wow. And that was his opening, his opportunity to open up and launch a blast right into the demon's face from his arm. So the demon pulls back with smoke pouring out of its face. Oh my god, Guts' hand, like, all busted. Holy shit, man. So he's busted. All he's got left is to take his sword, the hilt of his sword, in his mouth, hold it up with his left arm. Because his right hand is broken. And take that sword. <sighs> take that sword and dive right through, severing the head of the slug demon. Wow. Jesus. Made quick work of that. Falling straight to the ground. After slicing the head clean off. Puck looking at Teresa. Teresa crying in fear. Puck looking at Guts. Guts barely even standing. But smiling like a maniac. He planned that. He was counting on taking Teresa as hostage all along. Damn you! Damn you! Oh, wow. He goes and shoves the knife right in his mouth. Ah! I'll show you the limit of a human being. Yeah, we're fragile, all right. We humans. Ah! N no! Teresa! No! Stop it! Not in front of the little girl. That little girl, Teresa. She's completely innocent. Shut up. If you get in the way, I'll kill you. He's serious, too. Always so stuck up, Count. Let's give your sweet little daughter a look at that proud face now. Ah! Stop! Please! Stop! Don't be so shy. Take a good hard look at a body that doesn't die! And just proceeds to stab the fucking shit out of that head with pure rage. Amazing! You really are superhuman! You really don't die, do you? Holy shit. It's like eviscerating his face.
I like how it um, pulls back on. Um, I like how it pulls back on certain details in the normal style here to kind of show this like warped, manic face of guts and like the movement of like all of the stabs as Puck and Teresa both look on in horror. Why? Why go that far? Oh, Teresa. Guts keeps going until he falls on to his back. The count de the count's demon decapitated head twitching on the floor as Guts starts to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. The blood that's running down is on the bailet. No, I don't want to die. I don't want to die! Oh, fuck. Guts, it's... The Bailet? The Guts, uh, the Bailet starts screaming blood as tears running from its eyes. Oh my god. We're in an M.C. Escher hellscape with the Bailet's eyes just wide open. What the? What? What's going on here? It's another dimension. They're coming. The Great Ones are coming. No. No. Guts's brand starts pissing out blood. Guts! Gah! Oh, wow. Oh my fucking god, dude. Oh my fucking god, dude. It's the god hand. And they're all on like these different like levels. And there's fucking... He who must not be named. It's alright, we know who this guy is. We know who this guy is. Grithus! Wow. So this is how this is how he's uh this is how he's introduced in the manga. It's so wild to see it see it done this way. Obviously the original way. That's insane. And that is the end of the Guardians of Desire, uh, chapter four. Um, a shorter and sweeter chapter to finish off this fight uh, than I expected. Um, so this one is definitely being added onto uh, chapter three, uh, the Guardians of Desire chapter three. Uh, so we'll put that all in the one in the one video chapter three and four of the guardians of desire which means uh next time next time uh we will be moving into um uh, our final two chapters uh of the guardians of desire uh five and six um to round out this arc and shit just got real with this double page the bailer has been activated and the members of the god hand have been summoned 
I can't wait to see what is next for us guys in the next two chapters. Uh, so I will leave this one here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.